Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of dilations and measurements. This is standard 8.10D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a preschool that has a rectangular field and a rectangular playground, similar in shape. Uh, so let's say they're both rectangles. Each dimension of the field is three times the corresponding dimension, 3.2 times, excuse me, of the dimension of the playground. All right, so let's say our field is going to be like this. Try to make it long and skinny. So this is our field. Our playground is a lot smaller. Don't know if that's exactly 3.2 times smaller, but I'm trying. And so let's make that playground. Okay, so since these are rectangles, uh, we need to find the statements about the area and the perimeter. All right, um, well, it says each dimension of the field is 3.2 times the corresponding dimension of the playground. So let's make this easy. Let's put some numbers in here, but let's make it as easy as possible. Let's say it's 1, right? So we've got a, a base of 1. So my field is going to be 3.2 times 1, so that's just going to be 3.2. So you got to make it easy. Since it can't be a square, we need a second dimension here. Let's just make these two. So 3.2 times 2 is going to be 6.4. All right, so I've got my dimensions. And since they don't give them to you, you can make them up. Might as well make them easy. So we need to compare the area and the perimeter of these two fields. OK, so let's see what happens here. So my um, area is on my playground, right? It's just going to be 2 units squared, my perimeter is going to be 2, 4, 6 units. All right, let's see what that's going to look like for my uh, larger field. So you could do it by hand, uh, or you can use your calculator here. Uh, so we've got a perimeter of 19.2. And then we've got a 3.2 times 6.4, that's my area. So my area is going to equal 20.48. All right, so let's take a look at what happened. The area of the field, all right, is 6.4 times the area of the playground, all right? So the area of the field equals 6.4 times the area of the playground. Well, we know what those numbers are, so let's see if it works. So the area of the field, so that's 20.48, is 6.4 times the area of the playground, which is 2. Nope, 6.4 times 2 is 12.8. So no, it's not 6.4. Uh, it says the area of the field is... 10.24. Okay, so let's try that. Uh, let's try instead 20.48 equals, instead of the 6.4, 10.24 times the area. Actually, yeah, that looks like it works, right? You double the 10, that's 20. Double the 0.24, that's 0.48. All right, so that's looking like it might work. The perimeter of the field is 6.4 times greater. All right, so that's 19.2 equals 6.4 times the perimeter of the playground, 6. No. The perimeter field is 10.2. Now, if that's 6, this is too large. That 10.2 is going to be way too large. Now, our answer here is going to be B, because when we're dealing with uh, scale factors and dilations, it is going to be, uh, the area is going to be the uh, lengths increase squared, so 3.2 squared is going to be your 10.24. There you go.